What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Tell me showing you guys Air Jordan 3, WNBA, Desert Camo. All right guys, these will officially come out tomorrow for retail price of $200. Now, I have had these for a few days, and honestly guys, I feel like Snipes is one of the first companies to really start dropping things before they actually release. Now, with that being said, you know, these probably did get pushed back and had an earlier set date. Sneakers do drop stuff a little bit later on, but I have realized that Snipes recently have been dropping things a few days earlier, even on their website. So stay on the lookout for that, guys. But I believe, you know, in this market right now, just how things are going, if companies don't sell it before it comes out, they're going to get stuck with it and they're going to lose out on 40 to 50 percent of the value because you know, when Nike sends them these shoes, they take a cut of, I think, 40 or 60. I forget the splits of what it is, but, you know, if the shoe isn't going for any money and they're sitting and they're getting it from somewhere else cheaper, they're going to just sit in the store and then they're going to have to put it on sale months and months later. But anyway, guys, let's get into it. So this is the box right here. It comes in a really nice box. It comes in like a desert camo. You see the Jumpman up there in red. And they go to size 11 on these. They do come in women's sizing. That is a size 9.5 in men's. All right, open up the top of the box here. We do get some red stamps and everything on the inside. I do have the receipt right here and I purchased these on, where's the date at? Uh, 7.13, so um, almost a week ago. And uh, yeah, let's get into it guys. So they do come with an extra set of laces. They come with like some orange laces. I think they look a lot better, you know, matching it up with the tan type of lace that they do come with, but I can see why the orange hits would look nice. The infrared orange laces do look really nice in my opinion, but I won't be trying them on with the shoes in this video. Also on the tissue paper here, we have some desert camo in white and gray. Nothing else on the inside of the box, but this is the shoe right here, guys. What do you guys think about it? Is it a copper drop? Let me know in the comments box below. These shoes are currently going for already 160 bucks. Now looking on the outside of the right shoe right here, we do get this nice keychain hang tag. On one side, it has the Air Jordan logo. And it says Air Jordan underneath. On the other side, it says All Star, and we have the WNBA logo. Now, a lot of people like to say that you know it is Diana Taurasi, but technically that is nobody, and you know it's just a figure. But a lot of people do compare that figure to Diana Taurasi. Um, but let's get into it, guys. So on the bottom of the shoe here, we get this nice gum sole bottom. We get a little bit of clear translucent. I feel like this bottom does look nice, and it won't age as much as other shoes because it is already kind of aged out with the gum that they did choose to put on this. Looking at the midsole on here, we get an all white midsole with the outside and the inside of the shoe. Towards the back here, we get that air bubble, which comes coming up towards the top and the base of the shoe here. We get this really nice desert camo all the way around the shoe and kind of like a canvas material. It looks really clean. It feels really nice. The materials on this feel really nice and smooth in my opinion. I don't see any glue stains or stitching error on my pair. Let me know how you guys pairs do come out when you do get this in hand. But other than that, it's a really clean shoe. Can you rock this often, depending on your style, depending on what you like to wear? Um, you can make these look really nice on feet, in my opinion. But for the normal person that's, you know, only getting a few shoes a year or somebody that's like, you know, not really a fan of switching up their shoes, are they going to go for this? Probably not. But that's just my opinion on that. Same thing on the inside of the shoe. I feel like the shoes that we're not really going at there are the shoes they put the best quality into. Like, I'm not seeing any issues with this shoe at all. It looks really, really good. And, um... Uh, Really, really nice. Shout out to today's sponsor, Kinetic Kings. Once again, I'm showing you guys some of the hottest shorts on the market right now. I have a blue pair and a green pair here in front of me today. I love these Paisleys. How do you guys think they look? I'm gonna show you guys what they look like really quick. At the bottom here, you can see that it says Kinetic. All right, stitched in down there like a darker navy. Really, really dope. I feel like, you know, these are some of the best shorts on the market, but don't just take my word for it. You guys can see that almost all of these shorts that I've been showing you guys in the past few videos, are almost sold out in every size. So you gotta act quick. I'm not just trying to sit here and sell you something. If it's coming from me, you know I'm rocking with it. You know it's hot. You may be just a little bit too late. But if you're not just a little bit too late, you can get your hands on these. This is something you don't wanna miss out on, especially for the price of 45 bucks. And then you add my discount code, Davis, for an extra 15% off, you cannot beat it. I'm telling you guys, these are some of the best shirts I have in my collection right now. And I'm wearing them often to the gym, to the beach, pretty much anywhere I'm going because they're so comfortable. But let's get back into the video. To wear the toe box here, you won't have to worry about the shoe creasing up on you at all because of the canvas material on this. As soon as I push my hand on it, you can see it bounce right back. So, you know, you won't have to worry about putting any more of a shoe shoe on this. Looking at the mud guard here, you see a little bit of that white slash gray translucent, a little bit of white threading, and we see the very detailed stars creeping up from the bottom of the shoe. 
once again, we do get two sets of laces on these. They come standard with like these tan laces and then they come with these very bright orange laces. All right, looking at the tongue here, at the top of the tongue here, we get a white metal Jordan. All right, the background of that is in like a canvas desert camo all the way throughout the bottom to the top of the tongue, really nice. On the inside of the shoe, on the inside of the tongue, it tells us about the shoe and the sizing. Production dates on this is 01-17-24 to 04-11-24. Give you guys a quick look at that real fast. We do get some tissue inserts on these. The sock lining of the shoe is like in a light tan. On the actual insoles of the shoe here, it is in white. We get the WNBA logo at the bottom in orange. On the back here, this is the cheap insoles. We do get a thick piece of tape, as you guys can see. All right, and this is pretty sticky, so if you are trying to take them in and out, be careful, you don't want to rip this insole. Underneath the actual insole, it is white with some white stitching. Coming towards the back of the shoes here, we get this nice tan back tabs. The Jumpman on there is in black, and it says air underneath that. And that's pretty much gonna do it for this shoe, guys, all right? Now, I'm gonna show you guys my foot in the toe box right now. Okay, guys, since we like on feet, really dope and clean. What do you guys think about these? Is a copper drop for you guys. Now I'm a true size nine, I'm gonna get nine and a half in on my shoes. Like they go up half a size on these. And I will say they still do feel a little bit snug in my opinion. You guys can see when I'm trying to scrunch up my toes, I'm not able to do it as fast. Um, I will say though, the bottom of the shoe where the insole is, it does feel really nice and comfortable. But um, it is a little bit snug still, and I did go up half a size on these. Normally, women's shoes do run a little bit bigger, but maybe because of the canvas material, it does feel a little bit snug on me. Um, my big toe is right here. I do have a good amount of space in the top of the toe box, but lengthwise is not where the problem is. I'm feeling my toes, hitting this on the outside and the inside of the foot right here. As you can see, my foot is not budging. My foot is on this material right here. It's not going in like as if I was pushing up here. Um, with that being said though, unlaced, they feel really nice. I don't have any slippage on this whatsoever. I would say, you know, go up half a size on these. In my opinion, this is a true size fitting shoe, but if you want a better wearing experience, go up at least a half a size. Um, you could probably even go up a full size if you like to wear them laced up, but you know, you might have a little bit more space lengthwise than I do up here. But other than that though, they feel really nice on feet. Once again, I would say go up at least a half size up on these. Um, but other than that, they feel and look really nice on feet. And I'm gonna show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now. Okay guys, so I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love and stay tuned. All right y'all, so this is the first option right here. We have these blue, kind of like a mixture of a light blue, a little bit of gray hits in here on the paisley shorts. What do you guys think about these? I like this colorway. Blue is one of my favorite colorways and I think it goes really nice with the socks and the shoe option in my opinion. But um, I'm about 5'9 to 5'10, 160 pounds. I would say go true to size on these shorts if you want them to fit a little bit smaller or a little bit tighter and you have a little bit better leg aesthetics and you want to show your teardrops and whatnot and want to kind of come up to like right here or something go with a size small i have dropped videos on these shirts showing what a size small look like for comparison purposes but lately i have been just going true to size and just trying to you know fill out the shorts that i do have or you know things like that because i am trying to get bigger for the winter and whatnot and just try to look bigger aesthetically just look more fuller in my opinion but um these are the shorts right here now you can get these for 45 bucks but you can add my code davis for an extra 15 percent off i think in this colorway um they have a few more sizes left i could be wrong though these shorts have been selling out like crazy a lot of people have been going crazy for these uh, paisley shorts in every color design that they do have so i'm not really trying to sell you guys on anything i'm just trying to show you guys some dope shorts that i've already been wearing but just trying to give you guys a little bit of a discount just in case you guys want to step up your short game this summer affordable and you know not see-through so you know what i'm saying um i'm gonna show you guys the green ones right now all right guys so this is the green paisley pair as you guys can see i kind of like the way these look with the sneakers on right here we get a little bit of dark green a little bit of black a little bit of white a little bit of that beige so it kind of does go with the kicks that i have on right now i am about five nine five ten once again but uh let me know if you guys are digging these shorts they aren't see-through just in case you guys want a free ball they're lightweight nice kinetic branding right here no nasty looking stitching pretty clean in my opinion let me know what you guys think about these man i'm really digging these little tips on all of their shorts just in case i forgot to mention that but uh yeah guys i'm not gonna hold you guys up any much longer make sure you guys use my code davis on kinetic kings to save yourself 15 percent off a lot of these options may be already sold out so you have to act fast but i just want to say thank you guys for all the support make sure you guys like comment subscribe show your boy some love and stay tuned